Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you are new. This video might get a little juicy. <laughs> I am going to be going onto Twitter and reading my Twitter drafts. I have a lot of Twitter drafts. Twitter drafts are for when you need to maybe get something out, but you realize maybe I shouldn't post that. So you send it to drafts. Or sometimes, like me, I overthink a lot. So sometimes I'll type something out and then I'll be like, mm, maybe, maybe I'll post it later. Maybe I'll look at it later and see if I still wanna post that. Also, you know, a couple times I've been drunk and wrote some things, so. It's gonna be interesting to read what is in here. I don't know how many I will read, but I'm gonna hopefully give you guys a handful. <laughs> so you're gonna see, you know, some of my inner thoughts, maybe some juicy drama. We'll see. Get ready for this. Got my drafts open. Let's go. You know it's bad when you start overthinking the overthinking. This one's tame. I think I wrote this one recently and meant to post it, but I think I was just gonna wait till later. You know, making a tweet about overthinking the overthinking and I'm overthinking tweeting it. Whew. It don't take much. Crack some rocks, play with some weeds. My nephews and my niece were over and we were playing with some dandelions and cracking open rocks because I was telling them how when I was younger, I used to like crack open rocks and sometimes they'd be like glittery inside. And so my dad said that quote and I was like, that's kind of funny, I'll tweet that. And then I wrote it out and was like, that doesn't sound like I should post that. Ooh, we got some drama. <laughs> I love when people just choose to be dumb and comment on an article they don't even read. Titles can be misleading. Maybe just read the damn article. My Twitter drafts is like a combination of randomness, my inner thoughts, and me just ranting and getting pissed off and needing to like write it out. Do you ever feel that you just gotta like type it out or write something out and then you feel a little better? <laughs> All right, now I got some mom drama. <laughs> After a couple years of telling my mom I'm getting gray hairs young and her not believing me, she finally believes me now that they're two inches long in the front. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that out after I went over to my parents' house and my mom was telling me she would pay for me to get my hair done and I realized she was like looking up at my gray hairs. I'm like, it's because of my gray hairs, isn't it? <laughs> and I had been telling her for a couple years now that I was getting gray hair and she didn't believe me. She's like, no you aren't, I don't see them. They're there, mom. And now she knows. <laughs> Ooh, maybe some of you can relate to this. As someone with multiple interests and things I want to do, niches, n n niches, I think that's how you say that, annoy the hell out of me. I hate it. I like to do so many different things. You guys can probably realize that from my YouTube channel. It's hard for me to just pick one thing and stick with it. I want to try so many different things. <laughs> Ooh, we got the, the sparkles on this one. If you drive like a reckless asshole, you shouldn't have your license. <laughs> I guess I just get mad a lot about people on the road because, uh, Here's another one. The stereotype that women are bad drivers is such BS. Nine times out of 10, when someone is being an asshole on the road, it's a man. So just know driving recklessly doesn't make you cooler or more manly. Learn to have some respect for people's lives. I'm sick of it. <laughs> you are seeing a different side of me today. <laughs> There's so many dumb people in America. Simple, sweet and to the point. You ready for some work drama? I told a customer who got mad at me to have a good day and he glared at me then slammed the door. So hey, kill them with kindness. You'll leave them speechless. That dude got mad at me for something that was completely out of my control. Me, I'm trying to help him and figure things out and kind of like tell him what's going on and he just gets so angry and then like turns and slams the door. Cause like, I was still trying to be nice. You know, I'm like, okay, well have a good day. You know, I, I didn't say it in a rude way. I was just, you know, killing him with kindness and he did not like it. This um, tweet I put in my drafts was after I tried to peacefully talk to some of my family members about COVID and about racism and it didn't go well. And I was so 
done with it. Some of my most religious family members are the most ignorant and cruel to things going on in the world. Remember, it's not that hard to put a piece of cloth on your face and not be racist. People can be so dumb. Feet are little fingers and big hands. Like, cause feet are bigger, they have a bigger palm. Little feet. <laughs> Ooh, I just fell asleep with a face mask on for about an hour and I'm just glad nothing crazy happened. The scary part was that I had one of those clay masks on. So I'm real glad that my face didn't react super badly because <laughs> I fell asleep for a while. Baboons be like Kim K. Who? The show What Would You Do always reminds me that there really are kind people in this world. It brings tears to me every time. I used to watch What Would You Do a lot and it really does make you think, oh, there really are some good people in this world. <laughs> you can be 20 and be way more mature than a 60 year old. That's the sad truth. This is from personal experience. Ooh, <laughs> the 20s. Some are pregnant, getting married, in relationships, single AF, and some are promoting their pyramid scheme. Pretty sure this was after um, a couple people, you know, tried to get me to join their pyramid scheme. Don't sleep on the press on nails. I love press on nails, but they fall off a lot. So I would wear them more if I could. It's one of those days where you confidently tell the worker at the movies, you too. After they tell you, enjoy the movie. Ooh, this one. This one makes me mad. I hate when people have a whole conversation with you catching up just to ask you a question. Like just ask me first so I don't feel like our conversation was a bunch of BS. I've had a couple people do that to me in the past couple years and it it makes me so upset. It's like, don't pretend to catch up with me if you're just gonna ask me for a favor. Like, I'm the person that I would rather you just ask me the favor. Like, you don't have to butter me up, you know? I'd rather you just be straightforward with what you want. Cause then those people that were catching up don't catch up with you again. The Cheetah Girls were such a great girl group. Diverse, the ultimate BFFs, and has some awesome bobs. <laughs> Do you ever plan to get up and do something, but your pet ends up laying on you and you're like, well, guess I have to keep laying here now. I thought that my ear was freaking out with this bizarre noise until I found a mosquito flying around my face. Last one here. I hate when there's big shocks revealing an old character in a show and I'm like, who the hell are they? Was I supposed to remember them from five seasons ago? That is the video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed me sharing my Twitter drafts. Let me know if you had um, a favorite Twitter draft of mine. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. My social media accounts are at the beginning of this video or in the description box below. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever it is where you are right now, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.